I think we need to get all this snow out of here. Crap, I can't believe that broke. Having this break in the weather has been really nice to get some things accomplished, but it has also come with its own set of challenges and problems. How's it coming in here? Better now. Now that, uh, now that I figured out it wasn't the lights, so that's good. What um, was it then? Uh, here, I'll show you. Yeah, so it was this actually. It was down in that frozen water and somehow got water inside of it. So we're going to have to seal this up better. So other than food in the winter, the next most important thing for your animals is going to be dry, clean bedding. So you want to make sure to clean it out and put down fresh bedding so you don't get moisture in your coop causing frostbite and other issues. We have already had some issues with frostbite this year. You can't always prevent it depending on the breed of chicken you have. So you are probably going to get it in the colder climates a little bit anyways, but you still try to do your best to prevent it. Pretzel, are you going to help me back here? Why don't you get in there and dig for me? When you have a farm or animals, it doesn't really matter what the weather is. If it's polar vortexy, blizzardy, cold, whatever, you don't always get the luxury of just taking the day off and having a cozy day because you have animals that rely on you. So you still got to go out and you got to get them food, make sure they have water, and make sure that everything's working properly. Well, this duck water thing is kind of a pain in the butt. You know, but if I'd have planned ahead, we'd be able to get them down to the pond. Now that we've had this storm, we got so we have so much snow, it's going to be really tough to move it out of the way to get them down there. But we're going to give it a try and see how that goes. Crap, I can't believe that broke. Holy crap, I can't believe this thing broke. So anyways, this thing right here on the other side is what broke and broke right where that pin goes in. So, man, I can't believe that. But I've already got it ripped off uh, the tractor and, um, and I've already got the new one on order, so that's good. But right now we're gonna just try to make a repair so we can get back out there and get this stuff moved since it's gonna take about a week to get that part. Well, I'm not really a professional welder, but we're gonna give it a try and put it back together and see how it goes. Well, you can see I ground on here and cleaned it all up a little bit. And then I put a bevel on both sides of it there so that I can weld into that bevel. And like I said, I'm not sure if that's the correct way to do it, but I don't need this thing to hold for a hundred years. I need it to hold for today. So we'll get welding. Well, we got her all fixed back up and put back on. Let's go see how long it lasts. Well, we got her all hooked back up. We'll see how it goes. I ended up putting the stabilizer arm on it in order to keep it a little bit more straight. So hopefully that helps. Well, so good so far. We'll take her nice and slow. Well, she broke again, but good news, all done. Broke on the last trip through. So we got the path all the way down for the duckies. So they're gonna be so happy. This is gonna work out great. Let's go get the ducks and see if they wanna go for a swim. Look how happy they are. They finally got into that pond. Didn't come without its own set of challenges, but we got it done and now we don't have to water them 50,000 times a day. 
If you want to know more about raising ducks, check out this video here.